M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Nick Shaw's Quasheng Dock. So I've got it on a full screen image here. Now there is a cable you need to customize if you want to receive and transmit audio using this software, but the channel editor works straight away and radio control works straight away. You do add customized firmware, which Exuma has made, or you can use original and to do this, but I've got all the links in the description. Also, you download the program which is called Quashan Dock. I've got a link in the description and you get this dock. It doesn't have to be full screen, you know, but I thought I'd show it in this one. We'll just quickly flick through here and uh, what you can do. So right now, if we hold down the VFO button, we go into memory mode, no different than using the radio, hold down VFO again. Uh, we're in VFO, we go one, four, five, uh, where's the dot gone? Blind as ever. Can't see the dot, so we're just going to go zero, zero. The dot's already there. Okay, so on, you can click menu, go up and down the menu. You can actually customize colors on this device, and it has a spectrum scope behind where the radio is. You can have a waterfall. It does. I noticed that when you go into waterfall mode, it does change the frequency. Uh, you've got the front buttons here, which if you're using Exuma are going to work in the way Exuma works. If you're using the original firmware, then it'll be it'll be like that. So with original, you hold down the F. Welcome to my channel. You want to thank Nick Shaw. This is the YouTube channel that I will link. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> that was another video that I made coming live for so for whatever reason. So what else we got here? Free, type the frequency, go into the menu, you've got the exit button to exit menu there. Settings cog here, this is it. his settings cog. Audio, this is why we have to make a cable, you've got audio in and out, because we when you plug in the twin pin cable, you lose your audio. Volume here, changing colors, analyzer style, bars, line, heat, changing the fonts. There's your serial COM port for when you're programming. I've made a video on loading all this up. What else can we do? Channel, let's see if we can open up the channel the channel programs. It works really well just for programming your channels. It's a lot quicker than using the software. So click channel editor. Let's close down the settings. Channel editor. Yeah, and that has appeared here. So usual thing, just type your frequencies, set your CTCSS, read and write, load and save files where you've done that and you just want to bring in the file that you've saved. Let's Let's just quickly see if we can fire up the waterfall now it does change the frequency so we're just going to hit and remember i've been looking at this for an hour analyzer and waterfall we need some activity let's change the frequency so we get some activity here now how do we change the ah there you are no four three four looks like we can tap it here Oh, there is a frequency there. Oh, well, more to learn on that, but you can see that it does have a waterfall once you've configured properly. Yeah, and learn this. Step count, step size, bar, line, heat, and let's just do everything. Just click in everything, and then you've got a normalize button there. PTT. Haven't actually even tested that. I don't think that'll work because, will it work? Um... I can't see the radio going into a red PTT. Let me go back to normal mode. Uh, how do we do that? Menu. Might have to. I don't know how to exit the the you know the the waterfall feature basically. Let me just quickly reboot it and then I'll try the PTT. Okay, rebooted PTT. Yeah, no, of course it doesn't. It uses the, the microphone. But watch what happened when I rebooted it. Turn it off. And there's no connect button. Turn it on. And it shows it. Welcome. It just knows. Yeah, of course, after you've selected the COM port. The good thing is that all the spectrum graph appeared on the right. Nice. Very nice. So, yeah, lots. I mean, it's just we are so lucky, aren't we, with people and this is you know i know lots has happened already but this is still early days you know the fact that this it's a bit like the x6 100 but times a thousand if you ask me 
The fact that this radio is fully customizable is the reason they're selling like hotcakes. Every ham in the world is going to buy one of these radios. And anyone that complains about this radio is completely mad, in my opinion, completely, because 10 to 15 pound and you have hundreds and hundreds of hours, yeah, playing around with this device for fun. Yeah, make sure you don't cause harmonics and all the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, or go and buy, uh, go and waste 15 quid on McDonald's. Yeah, it's oh, Coca-Cola. It's a no brainer to me. Uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.